on this episode of Scott vs. Box, I am live, double dipping in a day on mob cam, and I am unboxing Studio Ghibli films, Blu-ray, DVD combos of Castle in the Sky from up on Poppy Hill and Whisper of the Heart. That's the heart talking to you. Stop eating so much bacon. Bacon. Yes, yes. Welcome on in. If you're doing a live chat, chat on away. Get in, get on the keyboard. Be a warrior and do that. Don't do this because that's a typewriter. But that's just that's just good uh, mimery right there. Am I right? Yeah. What's up? Hey, welcome in. Welcome in. I got Sir Stabbington here. We're ready to unbox this sucker. Uh, Michael Williams, hello. Welcome. Hi, Luke McKeever. Hello. Sorry to be brandishing a knife, but that's just how I do. Yes, yes, we got all new Studio Ghibli movies here. And by new, they're probably made in the 90s. But they're added to my collection here. I have the other ones. I didn't do my homework. Look, I'll be honest, okay? I know I was supposed to watch the other ones. I know I was supposed to do that. But I, uh... I've been watching the Star Trek movies instead. I, that's a, sure, I've seen it before, but I didn't actually watch, uh, um, what's the one? It's the last Next Generation one. It's not Insurrection. It's the one after that one. I've never seen it before. Nemesis. i had never seen Nemesis before. So, I, look, I look, I'm, I'm doing series at a time, and no, maybe I didn't start Samurai Jack again uh, in between this. Shh, quiet, you, quiet, quiet. We're, we're doing this. Who's excited? Who's excited? Raise your fingers. I am. So, let's take a look here. Let's start, uh, well, let's start with Castle in the Sky. It's right here. It's a castle. It's in the sky. I see no castles. Uh, nor do I see skies. Again, going with the theme of all these covers seem to love clouds. They love clouds. Here's more clouds. Is a kid uh, painting or has a thermos full of hot soup? I'm not sure. Ferian Gaming, hello, welcome on in. Uh, and then this lady who's been hypnotized at some sort of uh, fair show with the hypnotist. Uh, and, and then uh, they never woke her up. The kid's like, oh, I gotta get back to Peyton. Oh, but there she is. Oh, I hope she keeps her skirt down. Oh, or I'm gonna be sinning. Uh, Luke McKeever, thanks, you're amazing. Thanks for watching. Uh, so it's packed with extras and exclusive booklet with statements from the filmmakers. Like, please, get that book out of my face. Uh, so, Hayao Miyazaki. Yes, these movies are infamous and sometimes famous. Uh, I have not seen any of these. If you have, please comment with uh, your thoughts on it, uh, if you love it. But they do the American, well, the Western cast. They, they put a Western cast in there uh, with, with big name stars. Let's check them out. We got Anna Paquin. That's Rogue. James Vanderbeek. That's Dawson. Cloris Leachman. Uh, what is she in? She's in a lot of stuff. I love me some Cloris Leachman. She's the uh, she's the the grandma in Bad Santa. She's amazing. Did you want some sandwiches? Mark Hamill. Oh, <gasps> yes. From Vikings. No, whatever other show. No, it's a Luke Skywalker. It's a Luke Skywalker. Uh, uh Michael Williams. How is the other dude doing? I hope he's not dead. What other dude? What dude are you talking about? I'm the dude. I'm the dude man guy. Me, the dude man guy. Me. I don't know what you're talking about. Fair and Gaming, you love my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate you watching you know, all the videos and uh, and subscribing and doing all that fun stuff. Uh, and uh, Oh, I got Butterfingers from all your compliments. Uh, I'm Luke McKeever's idol. That's what he said right there. I see it right there. You're my idol. That's very flattering, Luke. Uh, you share the name of one of my favorite Star Wars characters, as well as one of my favorite wrestlers, Luke Harper. So you double looped me. Uh, that's awesome stuff. Thanks so much. PlayStation 9, hello. Uh, Micah Williams uh, asking, can I do more gameplay? Can I do any gameplay? I know I did a little bit with Super Smash Brothers at one time, but uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm working on a studio and maybe something like that will happen. I'm just kind of a technical dum-dum, so getting the capture and everything, I'd sooner be filming myself with the game in the background. Let's take a look here. G-Kids. G-Kids? That's for G-Kids. That's for kids with gravity. None of you uh, anti-gravity children can watch this. 
Uh, and then we've got a big blimp thing, which I suppose is the castle. It looks like it's carrying gasoline. Uh, and then stunning, a masterpiece of action filmmaking, such as that scene when Dr. Robotnik stole that child. And then they both fell down and uh, barfed in a field. And then uh, the, uh, Iron Giant then gave them a flower. Sure. Sure. Why not? So, uh, Castle in the Sky is a timeless story of courage and friendship with stunning animation from acclaimed Academy Award winner, director Hayao Miyazaki. This high-flying adventure begins with when Pazu, an engineer's apprentice, spies a young girl, Shita. Oh, Shita. Floating down from the sky, held aloft by a glowing pendant. Both Shita and Pazu are searching for the legendary floating castle, Laputu, Laputa, and they vow to travel there together to unravel the mystery of the luminous castle. But their quest won't be easy as soon as they are being pursued by greedy air pirates. Man, this guy loves his air pirates and things in the sky. The military and secret government agents who all seek the power Shita alone can control. Oh, Shita. Man, that's some heavy Shita. Am I right? Uh, bonus features that exclusive booklet, feature length storyboards behind the microphone, the world of Laputa, creating Castle in the Sky, character sketches, producers, perspective, meeting Miyazaki, scoring Miyazaki, promotional video, textless credits, original theatrical trailers. All right, so they loaded it with a fair amount of stuff. I'd say that's pretty good. Hook Shop Factory's involved. I like this stuff a lot. It's rated PG for, uh... Uh, I don't know, uh, stuff. Stuff they drew that's rated PG. So let's see here. What's the chat saying? Uh, they wanted to play GTA 5. Well, uh, again, you know, at some point I may do those stuff. But right now, I'm doing unboxings on the unboxing channel. But I do love me some video games. Um, and uh, did I watch E3? There's a lot of good stuff they showcase, like the new Avengers game and new Jedi Fallen Order. Jedi Fallen Order is uh, is looking pretty cool in my book. I didn't see the Avengers game. Um, saw Cyberpunk. Saw the new Battletoads game. So definitely some cool stuff in the works. And um, I'm sure I'm going to be getting my grubby little mitts on it soon. All right. Let's see here. Let's see this so-called booklet. If it is indeed a booklet or not. All right, let's open this up. Blu-ray. Oh, sorry, I didn't do the... Uh, that's what it looks like on your side panel, on your shelf, nerds. I'm a nerd, too. I'm talking to myself. Look, there's a little Ghibli face. Look, hold on, get it in focus. There we go. Look at those eyes. Cute. It's adorable. Here it is if you don't have the slip sleeve. Here it is right there. That's what you see. That's what you see on your side panel. So, uh, pop it open. Whoa! They weren't lying. They got a booklet. But let's see over here. This is the Blu-ray. And he's screaming, Whatever you do, put on your goggles. Huh? I didn't have goggles. And, uh, there's over here is the DVD. I like it when they make them distinctly different. So you know which one's which. I mean, it says DVD right there. But, you know, just different images. Do a little something. Do a little something. Oh, and then there's Hyrule. Right? Look at all that. Oh, it's mountainousnessnessness. And these are compasses. Oh, sorry, they hold the DVDs and Blu-rays. All right, let's see this booklet. It's exclusive, you know. <gasps> Hugging! Woo! So scandalous. So scandalous. Senior and junior colleagues, the relationship between... Aizao Takahata and Hayao Mizaki can be traced back to 1963. Two of them were involved in a joint business until a certain time. They met at Toy Animation and then uh, blah 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 and then they fought to the death. Alright, so that's a thing. It's from August 2010. Oh, director statement. I want to speak to the hearts of children. I hate their lungs and I hate their kidneys. I only speak to their hearts. Ah, I feed birds. Or they're ripping apart her fingers and she's screaming in agony. First they ate her teeth. Where'd her teeth go? Uh, da, da, da. Uh, 
uh, can we tell an adventure that has a classic framework and present day language? Well, I think you told it in a couple languages. Because this is an age when justice has become an expediency. Love has become a plaything. And dreams have become mass produced products. Because this is an age when uninhabited islands are disappearing. Outer space is being devoured. And treasures are being converted to currencies. Because, man, this is like a philosophy book. Gee whiz. 1985 Miyazaki. Calm down. Certainly want to create a story that speaks directly to the hearts of children. Normally hidden beneath a thin layer of pre pretension, sarcasm, and resignation. So I uh, misspoke the one uh, uh, syllable, then I do them all. All right, and then a producer statement. All right, well, it's neat that there's stuff here, at least, you know. It's not uh, necessarily my cup of tea, but I'd rather there be some than nothing. That's from Takahata. All right, there. So that's a thing. That's a thing. Michael Williams says, I'm not a nerd. I'm okay in his books. Hey, I'm a nerd. I know I'm a nerd. I like nerdy things. Like I said, I was watching the Star Trek movies. Nerd is a good thing. I, I like I like things that appeal to me. Am I a jock? Well, sometimes. Ow, my hand. No, I'm a nerd. Uh, but I like it. I accept it. I think nerddom is a good thing. And we're winning right now. Thanks to that show I don't like or watch, Big Bang Theory. But, you know, hey, whatever. Whatever. There's no way those guys smell good. There's no way. I don't care. Four nerds like that? Four, like, super-duper nerds? No. One of them must stink. They gotta stink terribly. They just don't address it on the show. Show's a lie. Luke McKeever, why don't I name my knives? I do. This one's Sir Stabbington. It's been Sir Stabbington for a long time, old Sir Stabbington. Yes. Oh, and I also had Sensei Stabbington. He's currently lost in the move. So uh, there's, a, there's a move in, in the process with uh, trying to do some new studio stuff. Sensei Stabbington is uh, currently uh, MIA. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go with the uh, Whisper of the Heart next. This one. Uh, let's see here. No clouds. No clouds. All oh, the covers have clouds. Is it? Well, all right. I'm gonna really fudge it here. That could be the sun, but I'm gonna say within the reflection of that uh, window. I'm going to say that's a cloud. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Brittany Snow is in this. I don't know who that is. Courtney Thorne Smith from Summer School. Yeah. Carrie Elways. That's your Robin Hood man in tights. That's your Princess Bride uh, gentleman right there. And David Gallagher. I don't know who that is either. Uh, I know Peter Gallagher and his eyebrows. So over there we have a cat right there sleeping on a windowsill. And this guy going, hey. Get out of here. Don't pet my cat. I don't know who you are. Get out of here. Don't touch my flowers either. Get, 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 get out of here. Take your little box there with you. What's that? Sandwich is in there? Give me one sandwich. And then get out of here. Don't touch my bike. Oh, that's your bike. Get out of here. Um, and what else? Anything else of interest? No, no. Okay. Oh, what? there's a cat man. Cat man do. Look at that. It's a cat man with a bow tie. All right, this movie's crazy. And then there's a regular cat. How's that cat feel about Catman? Cat must be upset. Cat can't get all dressed up in clothes. That's terrible. Well, was this was this a movie dividing cats and cat people? Oh, it's politically charged. So the bonus features is four masterpieces of Nahoiza Inyo. Watch four different scenes by master artists, the name I butchered before, evolve before your eyes. Original Japanese storyboards behind the microphone with all the people I mentioned before, trailers and TV spots, and then the DVD has bonuses of behind the microphone and trailers and TV spots. <gasps> well, isn't that fascinating? Uh, Whisper the Heart inspires like never before in Blu-ray. And it inspires the same old way that it did before on DVD. Uh, a new digital master reveals the true brilliance of this heartwarming coming-of-age classic from Studio Ghibli, the studio that brought you Ponyo in the Academy Award-winning Spirited Away. A chance encounter with a mysterious cat sends Shizuku, a quiet schoolgirl, on a quest for her true talent. Challenged by Seiji, a boy determined to follow his dreams and enchanted by the Baron. A magical cat figurine. It's the Baron. <gasps> Baron Catman. 
Oh, that's a wrestling joke. Hit the camera more. Who helps her listen to the whispers of her heart. Shizuku embarks on curious adventures beyond the boundaries of her imagination. And guess what? It's still in Blu-ray again for the first time ever. Believe it or believe it. This one is, um, oh, it's rated G. None of that PG-ness. And uh, how long is it? Oh, this one's 119 minutes. This one was, uh, this one was, uh, well, I see that it was in 19, wow, it was in 1986, this thing? Get out of town! Get out of town! What's the runtime? Give me the runtime, you son of a gun. 125 minutes for an uh, old castle in the sky. Still haven't heard from anybody in the chat roll if they've seen any of these. Uh, I mentioned it before with the other Studio Ghibli ones, uh, you know, Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke, amongst my favorites of his. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, all right, let's pop it open. Uh, Michael Williams says, you're a good man. You're good. You're going to my books. I like when you read because reading is good for your health and you can do a tour review. I, you know, I've been, people want to hear the, uh, people want to see the tour. People want to hear a tour. Hey, this over here is my front door, then over there is my back door. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do a tour when I get the studio up and running. But who knows? Then you might see my shoes. Uh, what time is it where I am live, Scott? Uh, well, it is 11.52 p.m. I'm in the uh, Los Angeles area, and uh, that is the current time here. And, uh, well, am I going to go on the party scene tonight? Nah. I thought I'd do a little unboxing and maybe watch some movies. Here I am unboxing these and I'm probably going to watch another Star Trek movie. I'll watch the new cast. I'll watch the new cast. That's what I'll do. Oh. So we got the Disney movie reward stuff. This other one didn't have it. Ooh, what the heck. So there's that thing. So there's any of that. And then uh, over here, we've got, oh, 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 they changed it slightly. All right. They did the same image, but they just sort of mirrored it a little bit so let's see here so this one the the actions over on the right hand side and that is the uh, where's this? oh there it is up top the blu-ray and then over on this one they're over on left hand side and like we get the neighbor's perspective like hey we're closed okay we're all closed over here that's the dvd all right it looks pretty good it looks pretty nice no booklet or anything I'm filled with stuff that i found fairly boring but that's all right that's all right. There's all that. So that's cool. That's cool. Welcome, welcome, uh, Minor Turnip nine seven eight two. Hey man, how are you? Uh, Mike, it's two fifty two where you're at. And um, let me see, PlayStation nine is the same time as you, but you live in Arizona. Well, that's right, cause you you don't do the time change over there. I like that. Who those farmers don't know what they're talking about? Crazy farmers <laughs> planting their eggnog. It'll grow when it grows, okay? Let's see here. This is the special edition from up on Poppy Hill. Ooh, Poppy. And this one's loaded with a Western cast. Let's try and figure out how many we know. I'm going to say I'm, I'm, I'm going to know half of them, right? I'm going to say I know half. What do you think? What do you think? I'll know everybody? I don't think that's going to be the case. Jillian Anderson. It's uh, the old X-Files. That's a Scully Mulder, right? Uh, she's one of those people. Sarah Bolger. Don't know Sarah Bolger. Bull Bridges. Yeah. Yeah, that's the son of Lloyd Bridges and brother of Jeff Bridges. Quite good. He's in The Wizard, you know. He's in uh, The Fabulous Baker Boys. He's great. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis from Halloween fame and uh, 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 A Fish Called Wanda. Uh, Bruce Stern. Bruce Stern's awesome. Nebraska. Uh, all kinds of uh, other classic movies. Isabel Furman. Furman. Not familiar with Furman. Christina Hendricks. Don't know that one either. Uh, Ron Howard. Ah, oh, narrator of Arrested Development. An all-around bald guy who wears hats and directs uh, great movies. Chris Noth. Chris Noth. Don't know Chris Noth. Emily Osment. Haley Joe Osment? No. Totally different. Aubrey Plaza. Who's currently in Child's Play. I haven't seen that yet. And I really want to go see that. I love the original. A lot of the sequels I could totally do without. Charlie Saxton. I eh, don't know that one. Alex Wolf. Eh. And Anton Yelchin. Oh, here I am talking about the new Star Trek movies. Oh, and he's, uh, he's, he has since passed. He's, uh, 
He's, uh, why am I totally blanking on the character's name right now? Uh, nuclear Vessels. Uh, oh, this is what happens. I feel like I'm on a game show right now. Because I'm live on camera and I'm like, oh, you know, uh, Rusev. No, uh, uh, what's his name? We got Scotty. We got, uh, Data. We got Worf. We got Picard. We got Kirk. We got everybody under the sun. All these Star Trek characters I know so well. Uh, check off. Check off. Gee whiz, that felt embarrassing. Over three hours of bonus features, including exclusive video with all Star Voice cast. Anton Yelchin. And uh, so this one's written by Hayao Miyazaki and directed by Goro. <gasps> Why didn't he animate it? Goro has four arms, you know. Uh, Luke McKeever is asking, am I married? Oh, you cad. Ain't no ring on these fingers. Nobody own me. No, I am not married, <laughs> ladies. Why is your, uh, the females in your family asking? <laughs> I understand. I understand. I get it a lot. And by a lot, I mean none at all. Visual magic. Breathtaking, beautiful, stunning. One of the shimmering highlights of the year. And they're just talking about the packaging. Am I right? Look at this. Fancy. Look at that. There's that side from up on Poppy Hill. Person just looking to the side. And this one, just looking to this side. Very exciting. Very exciting. Do our artwork of just different sides there. And then, uh, from the legendary Studio Ghibli, creators of Spirited Away, Howl's Moon Castle, and the Secret World of Irony, comes another animated triumph. Yokohama, 1963. Japan is picking itself up from the devastation of World War II and preparing to host the Olympics. Against the backdrop of hope and change, a friendship begins to blossom between high school students Umi and Shun. But a buried secret from their past emerges to cast a shadow on the future and pull them apart. From a screenplay by... Yeah. What's the secret that pulls them apart? What is that? Did Shun fail uh, arithmetic? I'm guessing they failed arithmetic. Uh, let's see here. Over three hours of features include original Japanese version, I like that. Feature length storyboards, I like that. Celebrity cast recording featurette, I always like that. Interview with Goro, <gasps> oh, I can't believe Shang Tsung allowed it. Music video, Yokohama featurette, original Japanese trailers and TV spots. And exclusive to this edition, there are other bonus features. A 16 page booklet including a letter by Goro and an excerpt from the original project proposal by Miyazaki, speech and press conference from Hayao Miyazaki. Well, that's very interesting. Um, Michael Williams is asking, did you know at the SpongeBob, that the SpongeBob creator died a few years ago? I, I did not know, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. I do know Tom Kenny's alive and kicking the voice of SpongeBob, so at least we have that. At least SpongeBob carries on. Do you like me some SpongeBob? And let's pop this open here. And see what we got here. This one's rated PG. This one, tell me why. Ooh, mild thematic elements and some incidental smoking images. What? S incidental smoking images? So someone was smoking. And their breath stunk. And then their clothes reek. I get it. It's smoking. It's weird. Why do we do it? It doesn't make a lot of sense. And uh, the runtime is 91 minutes. Mmm. This might be the shortest of them all. Might be the shortest of them all. So let's see here. So we got the G Kids. So it's telling us, uh, discover a world of animation. And I love animation. I don't. I think it's very important. Growing up as an adult, you know, if you're younger, watching this, and you go older, and you're like, ah, animation. That's for kids. No, it is not. That is for everybody. There's certain like kid-oriented animation to be had. But goodness gracious, animation's for everybody. There's amazing animation uh, that. You know, it's not just the Disney Pixar realm of stuff. Like, there's so, so, so much. And uh, I could go on and on about it. Maybe that'll be another video for another day. But let's take a look at what we have here. There's a cat in Paris. The Secret of Kells. Chico and Rita. A Letter and a Momo. Tales of the Night. Ernest and Celestine. I've uh, I've heard of a number of these. I haven't seen any of them. But there we see some more images from all these movies. Very different, unique art styles to all of them. I think it's super cool dig it love it all right and then we got our big old booklet all right uh the original treatment yes oh oh we got some artwork in here oh that's very cool 
I'm sure once they see the movie, they'll be like, this is this is awesome. It's a lot of pure in a dog chow. Isn't that the flag for it? And uh, a lot of stuff being in here. A lot, of, a lot of voids. And then, oh, look at that bridge. And then this train. It's very nice. Very serene. Very serene. All right. And then uh, there's, there's people. Sure. And then there's uh, people. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, and then, uh, yeah, don't give up. Uh, girl. <gasps> a bear hug. A bear hug of doom. <laughs> Let her go, you monster. She's just trying to get to the ship. And there you are squeezing the life out of her. This movie's violent. <gasps> the handshake hurt around the world. And everybody's shocked and stunned. And then they, one of them farted. I won't say which one, but one of them did. Huh? And yeah, so there's that. All right, so there's some info in there. And then we got the DVD. And we've got the Blu-ray distinctly. Different looking. I appreciate that. Oh, this is one of the times where I think I prefer the DVD artwork to the Blu-ray artwork. Ho, ho, ho! Strong words. Strong stance. I said it. I said it. What's chat roll saying? Chat roll's saying a bunch of stuff today. Oh, ho, oh, hey. Ho, oh, hey. Uh, PlayStation 9's asking, do I play Spyro? Tom Kenny voices Spyro. I don't. I never played a Spyro game. Uh, no one's ever said, hey, you gotta get you some Spyro, buddy. So, uh, I hear they're fine. There's many of them, so the, clearly they do all right. And, uh, PlayStation 9 also said, uh, I saw, uh, The Secret of Kells. You liked it. And uh, back on your way to Northern Ireland is when you saw it. Oh, well, yeah, when you gotta watch stuff in a plane. That's how I watched all of Brockmire. I'm not up on season three, but when I was on a plane to Japan and I saw me some Brockmire, <laughs> nailed me down some Brockmire. That's what I did, by golly. So, yes. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, super cool. So I got me some more Blu-rays to add to the collection. Add them to the old movie shelf. Which one do you think I should watch first? <laughs> Not including the uh, the group from the previous batch. But we got from up on Poppy Hill. We got Castle in the Sky. And we got Whisper of the Heart. Hmm, I know which one I'm leaning towards. But I'll wait for a couple of your votes to come in as I'm wrapping things up here. And I thank you all very much for watching. And I think I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Still, um... I got more stuff to do. I was I was attempting to do another Blu-ray, but it's like, ah, I'll hold off. I'll do another Blu-ray for another time. You know, I like to switch it up a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, which one do you think I should watch? Whisper of the Heart? From up on Poppy Hill, Castle in the Sky? Uh, I can tell you it's not this one. <laughs> it's not. That's, the, that's probably the last one I'm going to watch. It's going to be one of these two. Can you figure it out? Huh? Five, four, three, two, one. Castle in the Sky is the one I'm going for first. Cloris Leachman! Yeah, yeah, watch some sandwiches. If any of you saw Bad Santa, you'd know that I nailed that impression, like, down to a T. Down to a T. So, uh, again, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you had fun tonight. Hope you all get your rest. And you're ripe and ready to go for tomorrow, doing the things and punching the air. Uh, 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 uh. So, uh, yeah. Any other comments that you want to throw in the chat room before I go? By all means, by all means, uh, just gesturing. I didn't hit the camera. I was very close. But, uh, yeah, this has been fun. And now I shall, I shall put all these away and uh, clean up the mess I've made uh, because it's, uh, it, just, it won't be very neat and very tidy. So just put these away here. So thanks, everyone, so much for watching. Again, I do this on Mobcam, Mobcam Rules. They allow me to do uh, live content. It's a free app you can download, you can chat on it, you can create stuff yourself and chat with people doing stuff live. It's awesome for me. It's helped me out so much while I've been doing this uh, move and going into a new studio. So I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't already. So good night, everybody. Take care and uh, catch you on the flip side.